Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial which is going to be all about um, sort of speeding up workflows and such in 3ds Max and there's three key elements that help you with your modeling and things like that so I'm going to show you how to hide an object, freeze an object and make an object see-through or slightly invisible so you can work with it I find that easier when you're working with a rig and when you're animating and things like that so really I've got three objects here, just a really basic scene I'm just going to go through some basics, so you can right click any object and you get your your task pane and what you can do here is you can freeze a selection so when you're going about your scene if you you know you don't want to select an object, if you've got many parts to a certain model that you're making and you don't want to have to click it, you can freeze it and it will always be frozen until otherwise you say unfreeze all and it will unfreeze the actual selected object which makes it easy to work with now another one if you don't want this in your scene all of the time you can actually just hide that selection so in your scene instead of it being frozen it's out of the way and you can still work on everything as well as you could and you can click unhide all and it will bring your objects back the last one I'm going to show is how to actually make your object invisible and all you need to do is hold alt and x and it'll make your object see through it looks similar to frozen but you can still move your object but it just makes the actual mesh slightly more transparent so you can see through it, it doesn't affect rendering but you press alt x again and you bring it back so there was three key things that I think really helps out when you're using 3ds Max cheers